Hello and welcome to Agree or to Disagree. That's what's called? Cool. The way this works is we're gonna move our glasses, either disagree or agree. The further we go down the table, the more we agree or disagree. I have a feeling my cup's just gonna be like right here the whole game. You have strong opinions? Uh, no, I just don't like your opinions. <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. You're only I already, already forgot how to play this game. <laughs> Drew, you are only measuring how much you agree or disagree. Okay. I think I'll just go opposite of your cup. Oh my god. So like gosh. if you try like that much, I'll put it like this. What's our first question, Savannah? A McDonald's breakfast is better than their lunch menu. Period. I this is feels like a trick question. <laughs> this feels like an easy question for me. <laughs> breakfast menu? I mean what they got the McGriddle? Uh, yes. I'm gonna is... put it right, you know what, I'm gonna put it right here. I can't believe that you put it on the disagree side after mentioning the McGriddle. I love, no, I don't like a McGriddle. I like a McChicken, and I, the problem is I don't like McDonald's very much. I'm not really strongly into the uh, lunch menu that much. Like, their burgers, and eh. Their McChicken's okay. Not big fan of their like chicken sandwich and stuff, but they got like breakfast burritos. They got their, I mean, this morning I literally had McDonald's breakfast because McDonald's prices. You gotta eat healthier, man. I only, As your friend. I only eat McDonald's breakfast on Thursdays so that way I can eat <laughs> breakfast yeah. and then save my lunch. And sure, you just to... happen to only eat on the day that we're filming. No, that is intentional. That is so intentional. The stuff is gonna kill you. I hope so. What? No! I want to die happy. We gotta go and on I'm to the next question. <laughs> We're gonna talk about this for a while. Yourself. You gotta help yourself. I'm funnier than the person across from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I have a good knock-knock joke, but you have to be the one who starts it. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Oh, you know this trick. I'm going to tell a joke that Adam told to prove how much funnier than I am than Adam. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's two penguins, right? No, this is a 15 minute joke. <laughs> <laughs> there's two penguins, right? No, I can that's make a it quick. 15 minute I can joke. Ma I can make it that. quick. Yes, I can make it quick. You can make they're, it quick? They're, uh, they're in a canoe paddling up the Sahara Desert, right? And they see they're a giant dune hill. Giant right? dune hill. It's huge. <laughs> And so they're like, man, we got to get over this hill. So they go and they paddle and they paddle and they paddle yeah. super hard, right? And they get almost to the top, right? Mm -hmm. And all the sand sinks beneath their boat and they slide, slide all the way back, to the, the way down. Ba uh, back into the ground. The first penguin, exhausted, holding his paddle, turns back to the second penguin behind him. And he's like, sees that the, the penguin behind him doesn't have a paddle. And he's like, dude, where's your paddle? Where's your paddle? <laughs> and the first and the second penguin goes, sure does. See, it's a joke. See, you get it? You get it? Lots of laughs in the audience. Let the record show. Everyone's laughing. If they get it, they will not laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure where's out. Where's your paddle? Like the other version of where's? <laughs> where's away? Hilarious. See, we got so many laughs. <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> I would like to establish that you told the joke, no laughs. I elaborated so many laughs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sure, that's why we were laughing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's reset. Yeah, let's move on. What, Savvy, you didn't like that joke? It was great. It was amazing. I'm gonna, it's gonna haunt me. It's gonna make me stay awake at night. Couples Operator. with matching outfits are cringe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, dude, they're just having fun. They're they're showing how much you know they vibe with each other. Um I, I went to high school with um a couple that would wear like a matching like, Do I know that we went to high school yes, together? Actually, yes, you do. Um, you wanna say the name and we'll bleep it out? <laughs> yeah, it's redacted and redacted. Oh dude, I know them so well. Yeah. They had matching sweaters and I feel like in order for you to be a couple that has matching sweaters, you're both like ride or die at you against the world, and that mentality makes you like absolutely like your whole personality becomes the couple. Can That's I cringe. can I provide a counter philosophy? Sure. So the idea would be that you and I, mm -hmm. not a couple. Good. Thanks for clarifying. Of course, of course. <laughs> but if we did a costume. That was like Calvin and Hobbes. Uh huh. Wouldn't that be fun? I, but that's like a bit, right? Well, it's, it's not a, a bit. bit. So think of it 
like it's a bit between a couple. Because what's a couple but two best friends? <laughs> It's not costumes. Deciding they want to spend the rest That's of their the lives. It's not it's costumes. Not costumes. That's, That's why it's costumes. cringe because it's their personality. What? Right? Whenever they match, right? Like Calvin and Hobbes? No, it's not like Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> what if they were Calvin and Hobbes? <laughs> I don't know, Adam. Here, what if they were Calvin and Hobbes? Reset your cups and then you can continue the discussion on this next question. Okay. <laughs> you know, they're rushing us through this, but this opens the door to no, no, no. so much Adam, discussion. Adam, Adam, listen, listen. What's the are, next question? Are you ready? If you are in a relationship on Halloween, your costume should match a theme. That's the same question! Same question, but different! <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> you just said they shouldn't match. No, okay, that's the very, there's a very important word that she said here that is very important to the situation. It's called sure. Halloween. It changes everything. The prior question. I think question, you're stupid. The <laughs> I think you're stupid, dumb idiot. <laughs> the prior question was talking about the general day to day matching. This okay. Is, this is talking about like an, an event. And it's I think, the same. I mean, they don't have to go. That's why it's like a little agree. Neither of these, it has to go. I disagree that they have to do a costume. But if you want to do a costume at any time, if you want your outfits to match, I think it's cute if that's something you agree to do together so is this a question of like it has to or is it like they, this they one should, says should. should i'll do slightly disagree so it's like they don't have a moral obligation to <laughs> but like i don't think like if they match i'd be like that's cute no objections <sighs> okay oh, we agree good job guys <laughs> Right. Is that another one? <laughs> yeah, I the think hostility, we disagreed. It the hostility like... in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I just feel like you're disagreeing with me because it's me. No, I mean, I've, I've been stating my true opinion. Okay, if you've been saying truth, I totally respect it. <laughs> a but... night out with friends is better than a night at home alone. Uh, halfway. I, you know, it depends on if you're an introvert or an extrovert. I feel like I'm an extrovert. Normally, if someone... No, no, here's why it's halfway. Here's why it's halfway. is because normally I feel like it. If someone says it, I will drop everything at the... Well, not to say drop it two times, but drop up a hat to go and do the thing that they want to do. But sometimes, even as an extrovert, I need an evening alone. I need to just watch YouTube videos and waste my time. I need to watch Smosh. You guys ever seen Smosh? It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, for me, it's it's so hot or cold. I would say most of the time, I would be like, yeah, hang out with friends. Like, I'm super for it, but I don't know. I, I am very temperamental, so I might be like buddy-buddy, and then sometimes I might be like, get away from me. And sometimes I'll be going, but yes, let's go and do it. And I'm like, I really should stay at home. I would describe you as an ambivert, as your friend. Um, sure. <laughs> I'm just saying as someone who knows you. Yeah, I, I believe that. You, you feel... Like you agree with that statement? Here. <laughs> agree or disagree. <laughs> Drew's name preferred. No, I mean, you were Oh, <laughs> that's the <good> question. <laughs> yes, we strongly agree that I'm an ambivert. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll put it the same as you, so you don't get insecure. <laughs> I'm not insecure. I'm so confident in myself. Bowser is a better match for Peach than Mario. <laughs> I don't support incels. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not for, that's not good for their personal growth. Bowser doesn't need to be doing. Actually, wait. Sorry, Jack Black is an incel. I will support. <laughs> that's it. His version in the movie very straightforward. It says what he wants. He sings a song about. It. He's. If you don't think that Bowser is an incel in the Mario movies, I, in the Mario movie, the Mario movie. He's. I guess it depends on how we're defining incel. Doesn't she hate you? Of course she hates me. But that makes me love her all the more. New disagree. <laughs> we can't keep making new categories, Adam. All right, reset. It is Bowser and Incel. Type your comments down below. <laughs> Type your comments down below. If it's no, I want to know your social security number, where you live. What's the next question? I would do anything if the money was right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Too broad of a question. I'm not gonna kill somebody. Yeah, I won't do anything that violates my core moral code. What is your core moral code? I'm not a moral absolutist, watch the but I, yeah, what's your podcast? Honest plug. I set him up. <laughs> Honest plug. 
watch episode one of Duty Yourself podcast on this very channel. Moral duty. I talk all about what I feel is my moral code. Is it the same as lying if I just forgot to tell them? Because we're gone. I asked Drew if he would take me back had, to the restaurant to tell them. You had plenty of opportunities. <laughs> so you're just too afraid to say it. You guys ready for the last question? Sure. Yeah. She Whee! just wants us. She wants us out of here, Drew. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. We're not really playing. So we well. too much of a coward to be on camera. Wants us <laughs> to move along. Folding laundry is the worst chore. Savannah, I love you. Aw, I love you too, Adam. But uh, I really it's need to answer the, a question. It's not the worst chore, no. I'm not that strong. I don't like folding laundry. No, I'm very okay. You're right. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. Okay. It's dishes. Dishes is the worst one? No. I work in the kitchen. Actually, I don't mind dishes. To. I don't yeah. know what's the worst chore. Probably mowing the lawn. To me, it's like deep scrubbing is the worst chore. You have to do it sometimes. Because sometimes when you're just like wiping or sweeping, you miss some spots. And occasionally you gotta go in and you gotta like deep clean some areas. You know what the worst chore is? What? Cleaning up dog poop off your bed. This is, okay. <laughs> I thought you were gonna stop at dog poop. And I was like, I've been no, that's, that's fine. I've been off your bed? Off my bed. Mm -hmm. I love your two beagles. <laughs> well, I, I live with them. <laughs> Hot takes. Sipping the tea. Thank you so much. Here. Can I drink this water? It's probably you can drink it. It depends. Do you want to drink after Grant? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, they all drink too? <laughs> <laughs> Drew! <laughs> he did, that, actually Grant did that earlier. <laughs> the cup is not ergonomical at all. <laughs> well, Bye! Bye! <laughs> and Wait. Yeah. I don't know how much continuity you want. Should I mention that I'm three, three drinks in? Oh, you don't want to? All right, everybody, we're gonna learn a new dance. Ready? One, two, three, four. Like this video, click this video, follow us on every social media, and subscribe. You're doing great. Those are all the steps to the dance. Well done.